Are you thinking about getting turkeys this year? Well, let's talk about the beautiful and endangered breed that we keep here on the farm. Hi everybody, this is Laura with Lonely Pines Farm and today we're here to talk about our royal palm turkeys. I realize that I've talked about them on Instagram and TikTok like all the time, but we haven't mentioned anything here on YouTube. And yes, we do have turkeys. <laughs> uh, we got them from someone on Facebook Marketplace back in July and they were born at the end of June. So this is actually really good timing because technically the turkeys reached full maturity sometime this week. <laughs> So these are our beautiful royal palm turkeys, and yes, they are endangered or threatened, depending on which conservancy list you're looking at. But they're a heritage breed of turkey that's uh, raised mostly for ornamental or exhibition purposes. Uh, they're a bit on the small side. The females get up to like 10 to 16 pounds. Males are like 16 to 22. So they don't get very big if meets your uh, ultimate goal. But they're arguably one of the prettiest turkey breeds around, and I can't say that, I, that we argue. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, the one in the back there, that's Jasper. That's our main male. Um, we've got two males here in the group and three females. We are going to be keeping one male and butchering the other one here in just a little bit. So we will be able to attest to their true size. They reach maturity at now is about seven months old. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they typically, uh, from what we understand, don't start laying eggs until spring. So this spring, the three ladies uh, should get into full swing. And once they get up to a clutch of, I think it's like 14 eggs, um, then there's the potential for them to sit on them. And we're considering maybe letting them raise out a few little babies. From a temperament perspective, we absolutely love ours. We haven't had any issues yet, but if you like Google the breed, um, reports have run anywhere from really docile to super aggressive. So it sounds like a bit of a grab bag, but we absolutely love ours. Um, they're really active foragers. They've got uh, fun little noises when they're communicating with each other. Um, obviously the gobbles are great. Um, they honestly, they very quickly became uh, my favorite over the chickens. So I, I really love watching the turkeys play. They get the zoomies just like a dog. They'll chase each other around the run. They're so much fun to watch. <laughs> But they're also really big troublemakers because then you'll turn your back and they're just like pecking apart the fencing or a tarp or something like that or they're on top of a coop. Um, they're also, um, I think this is the case with most turkeys, but I guess these guys are especially good jumpers. Um, so we've had issues with them getting up here on top of the coop. Um, so we ended up trimming their wings, which is completely painless. Um, you just uh, extend their wings and trim off the very tips. They can't even feel it. It's their flight feathers specifically. Um, and that keeps them a little bit more grounded, um, but it really only takes the edge off. <laughs> it all comes from the legs of the turkeys. <laughs> Um, in fact, they are such good foragers that between them and the chickens, they have absolutely destroyed this run. So we've been spending the last few weeks um, cleaning up an area over there, uh, and we are going to, uh, here in the next few days, rotate their runs so that they can have all fresh greens, which I know they are just absolutely going to love. One thing I forgot to mention is that the turkeys are also actually uh, fabulous watchdogs. Uh, we don't have a ton of predator issues around here. We've only had one raccoon family come and check things out, uh, though we do get baldies overhead quite frequently. Um, but I I think a their size is a big um, deterrent for birds trying to come after the chickens which is our big concern um, but they also have their head on a swivel um, they're definitely a wild animal and you can tell that in the way they behave and they keep a very good lookout I'm trying to trying to get them in frame here <laughs> they keep moving on me <laughs> I also also forgot to mention, um, I know that there are some potential issues with uh, a disease called blackhead when you house chickens and turkeys together. Uh, I'm honestly not 100% sure what it is, but I know that it's pretty obvious when a turkey gets it, they get a blackhead, very lethargic, they definitely seem very sick. Um, so we haven't had any issues yet, uh, and we're willing to take that risk, some people aren't. Um, but I did want to mention that it's a possibility since we house the two together. In terms of extra requirements for adding them to our flock, uh, we did have to change our feed over from our standard chicken feed to an all flock feed. Uh, turkeys are just a larger bird and they need a higher percentage of protein and so the all flock feed has that for them. Um, so we did have to change over our feed and we had to make sure that they had somewhere to roost. I can show you here in just a minute, um, but I want to make sure all the birds are locked up in our, our little coop, our little Fort Knox, um, um, but we do have space for them here. 
Hi, Virgil. And obviously had to extend the run a little bit too because they need more space to forage and roam than the chickens. This is where the turkeys roost up. It's not very sexy right now with the tarp behind it, but uh, there's enough space up there for all of them. Uh, and we can still lock them in at night. This is inside the little run and that's where uh, all the girls sleep, all the chickens sleep in there. So it's worked out quite nicely. So yes, if you were looking for a small breed, a good beginner breed, a beautiful breed of turkey to keep on your farm, we definitely recommend the royal palm. Help save an endangered species um, and maybe sometime in the future here we'll even have some fertilized eggs to share with the local folks. <laughs> So let us know if you have any questions about raising turkeys or this breed in particular. We'll share everything we know, although we are kind of learning as we go along here. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. As I mentioned, we're on Instagram and TikTok, which is honestly where we're much more active. So be sure to give us a follow, although we're going to try and put up way more YouTube videos this year. Uh, and we've got some exciting news to share here real soon about our new direction for the farm. So again, be sure to hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the support. Have a great day.